How's it going, everybody? Treacherous here, and we're back at it again with another guide. This one will consist of the flamethrower and the BB gun, also known as the blunderbuss. Guys, this this is it. This is the one. This is the one build that I've been having the most fun, basically since the game came out. It has everything. It has damage. It has mobility. It has burst. It has CC. Everything that you ever dreamed on a build is this one right here with the blunderbuss. The first thing that we're going to talk about is going to be the skill tree. For the fire staff, nothing changes much from the previous video where I explained this build with more details. If you haven't seen that, go ahead, go ahead and take a look at that one. Uh, but nothing has changed for the fire build, all right? Obviously, the BB gun is the one that you guys are interested in. So this one is, is the one that we're going to talk about a little bit more in depth, all right? Uh, first, first ability that we're going to talk about is going to be net shot. Net shot is an amazing ability that it's not only and it's slow, it also it's a little damage, which is enough damage. Once we do the math, you guys will see. So it's a pretty nice damage, but it's it's one of the best uh, mobility abilities that we have now as a fire mage or as a mage in general. You guys know how previously I have said that the only mobility that we have as mages is burn now which is true right um other than that obviously we will pick the rapier but the rapier never found it's really you know it's good place it's it's niche place with with the mages i know it worked a little bit at the beginning with the ice spikes where didn't when people didn't expect it when people didn't know how to dodge the you know the repulse and then get hit by repulse and then followed by a nice spike or 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 just use it in general as as a you know repulse and reposition yourself but it was never really a good weapon that mages found to be using, right? In comparison, the BB gun, it's so aggressive, you guys, that it fills in exactly and it compensates for what the flamethrower needed it. And it was something with mobility, something that it was quick and something with burst. And that's where the, where the BB gun comes in. Anyways, going back to the ability. So yes, net shot. Net shot, it's wonderful. Uh, not only because it, it's a slow to the enemy that is trying to run away, um, it's also a little damage like I said, but the best thing by far is that kickback as you can see It's a, a a five a five meter dash backwards that has a 12 second cooldown That you can you can reduce that cooldown by using other abilities But look at look at this you guys. So I am right here, right? I am right here and we use a net shot and I don't know the ping disappeared, but it was about there It's, it's about five to six meters dash backwards this helps tremendously, all right? Especially when you're fighting a Great Axe or Warhammer and you see that the dude is about to use uh, a Shockwave or, or Mighty Grapple and you, boom, just net shot backwards. You completely dodge the ability and now you are in a really nice range to go back into your Fire Staff or to land one or two shots with your BB gun, right? So that's why net shot. It's the mandatory ability that, will, that I will want you to pick if you are going to play this build if you're going to play BB, right? Uh, we are going to take everything down all the way to the last one. Uh, if net shot hits a target, reduces cooldown by 20%. That is very, very good because the ability uh, has a, 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 a 17 second cooldown. But the moment that you hit a target, it immediately goes down to 12 seconds, as you can see. From 17 to 12, uh, 12 second cooldown. So that immediately takes 5 seconds away from, you know, from the, from the cooldowns. So that is a no-brainer, right? We need to get that one. The next one is that there's now a 50% slow that degrades to a normal movement speed over 5 seconds. Previously, the net shot was a 40% slow for 2.5 2, uh, 2 seconds. This one makes it that it's a degradable slow, meaning that it goes from 50 all the way down. I don't know exactly how much it degrades. I have never paid too much attention. And, and it's, it's very hard to track given that people get mobility buffs and other things. But now we know that it lasts 5 seconds instead of the 2.5. It's a 50% instead of the 40, the 45, right? Instead of the instead of the 40. It, it's fine, all right? And then last but not least, we have this one. The net shot initial hit will reduce 5% weapon damage. Meaning that the initial hit that was initially here doing 40%, right? Now deals 5%. Net shot initial hit is reduced to 5% weapon damage. However... You now deal a 35% additional weapon damage or uh, poison uh, each second, every three seconds. If we add that up, that comes up to 
Uh, so 35% uh, of, of the weapon of the weapon damage. So 35 times 3. That is uh, 70, 105%. So we 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 get rid of uh, a 35% damage, you know, from the initial net, but we get back over a hundred a hundred percent weapon damage. And it's extremely, extremely good, guys. I understand that the dummies they don't have much defenses and, and, and magical resistance and stuff like that. But there's this one thing, nobody out there, right? Nobody out there carries uh, uh, nature resistance or, or too much uh, magical resistance to talk about. Uh, but the net shot, it adds up to your damage. It, it's three seconds that it hits 300, 300, 300, right? In this case, it's 374, but as you can see, that's already 1,000 extra damage just by landing that ability. And it gives you so much, right? It slows the enemy. It gives you, it gives you that pushback. And it also damage them for something close or over a thousand damage, right? If they have a lot less, uh, less uh, armors and magic resistance, obviously this is gonna deal close to a thousand, if not more, right? Especially if you have any empowerments, if you have, if you have more intelligence, as you can see, I haven't consumed my food. Uh, but anyways, the net shot is the one is the one first ability that will 100% recommend. Okay. By the way, something that I, I didn't I didn't mention. The sweet spot of the blunder boss, right? The sweet spot of the blunder boss, it's about it's about this range over here, right? If you don't want to miss any any shot, what is that? About seven meters. The effective range of blunder boss is 15 meters, right? So up to 15 meters, you will still hit the enemy. It's it's very hard to tell, but it's about this range, right? Yeah, that's exactly 15 meters right there. As you can see. 15 meters to the dummy that is the effective range all right now the net shot you guys the net shot has a whopping thirty meter range all right thirty meter range the net shot you can shoot this baby from like like freaking a mage distance all right and you will still hit that net shot that net shot he has an amazing 30 meter range, all right? The second ability that we're going to talk about is going to be the Ace of Shrapnel Blast. This bad boy over here is the one that is going to chunk the enemies, you guys. This one is the one that it feels whenever you hit them, you hit them like a truck. Their HP goes like, Bruh! and they were like, where did my HP go? And they're like, yo, you got hit by the Shrapnel Blast, bro. Uh, we're going to get everything of this ability because everything is just very good, except for one of them. Uh, but anyways, uh, increase the range of this attack from 12 meter to 16 meters. Not that you want to use it at 16 meter, uh, uh, you know, all of the time. But sometimes the enemy is like very low HP and you want to hit him with something. And, and, and then you're like, okay, shrapnel blast, boom. You use the fan forward and you know that you're going to hit him with at least one or two pellets. And now you are able to use it from 16 meters away, right? Meaning that you might be able to get that kill of the guy that is running uh this one this score fire force additional pellets with each use of this ability i don't know what to tell you about it i don't know if it is working as intended i just don't feel that much of a difference when i use it uh we're gonna we're gonna use refresh refresh with each individual hit from this ability or from your blunder bus basic attack it will reduce a cooldown by 1.5 percent now if you guys don't know each pellet of the blunder bus it is considered a attack of its own right each pellet of the blunderbuss is considered an attack, a basic attack of its own. And this is why uh, perks like Enchanted, perks like uh, uh, Refreshing Move are so extremely powerful with a BB gun. Because Refreshing Move is, it is that with every basic attack, your cooldowns go down, right? So yes, if you hit an enemy with a BB shot, all of the shot is basically as you were hitting them with six basic attack. So you will be getting massive chunks of cooldowns now please uh, know that this is going to be changed uh, on, on the next patch only the refreshing move right the the enchanted it's still very much there and that's why since the beginning of the of the bb release i told you guys in the stream that enchanted was going to be the best perk for for the bb gun uh, anything that comes after that is it's it's a nestra but enchanted is the one that you want okay so since this one says um, that each basic attack reduces the cooldown by 1.5 second, since since like I said, every every pellet it's it's an attack of its own. You can see that every shot reduces the the second 
uh, the cooldown of the ability by by almost by almost two seconds, right? Um, which it's 10 to 20 percent of the ability's cooldown, which is again like almost two seconds. So that's that's why that is very good. The cool the, the, the cooldown of the ability comes back rather quickly if you are especially fighting a melee guy that you know is in front of you and you're not missing the shots. If you're fighting a boss, it, it works either way. All right. Um, the last thing that we're going to talk about it will be the minor abilities. And we're gonna get deep low deep low on on your last loaded bullet of the blunder boss will do 15 percent increased damage it's one of the best ones that we can get out of here uh reloading gives you a speed boost of 40 percent that decays over one second uh, we usually don't reload in front of the enemy if you're reloading in front of the enemy in front of the enemy and you're getting hit that's just a bad trade i wouldn't recommend you doing that right so the only times that i want you to reload is when you are far from the enemy uh, and the reason I want you to reload is for something else because if you guys didn't know uh, Your your blunder boss or your musket they will reload three seconds after you sheat them, right? So you can either shoot right you can shoot all your bullets and do a, a, a 1.5 second reload and then shoot again But if you want after you use your bullets you switch to your fire staff and your other weapon You wait three seconds you switch back and you have your bullets and you can use it again again one two three you switch back to your bb and he has the bullets right so you don't always have to reload yourself the reason you would like to reload yourself is because of that third bullet that goes into the magazine which we will talk about in just one minute okay um so yeah run and gun is not something that i would really recommend and the other ones over here they just don't look that very good reload gives you a damage boost of four uh, four percent for uh, uh six seconds like i said you're not going to be reloading very much because the way that we're going to be using the BB gun in this build is going to be as a burst and as a utility gun, right? The flamethrower will be our, our consistent damage and our BB gun will be our utility, our finisher and our burst, uh, burst weapon. So it has its time. We're not going to have it out reloading constantly doing the consistent damage with the BB. That's why we have the fire staff for it. If the enemy runs uh pass pass uh seven eight meters that we cannot hit him with a flamethrower um then we might switch to the bb gun hit him with the net shot right because as we talk about the net shot has an amazing range and then switch to your fire staff now that the enemy is slow and try to hit him with your basic attacks right or your fireball so there's no time that you will be using your bb as your consistent damage dealer okay uh successful hit within three meter grants 45 increasing your damage absorption uh by by 10 percent for two seconds this one, this one is pretty good, especially if you're in front of the enemy and you feel like you want to trade into the last seconds. Uh, I, 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 I could recommend that one, especially if you uh, mix that one with this one over here. They, they synergize very well. I, 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 I do it sometimes depending on the matchup, right? Depending on the matchup, it, it's, I, I don't get this one and I don't get this one. And instead of it, I get this bad boy and I get that one over there, right? For the last one, we're going to get on low. Like I said before, instead of uh, uh, nine pellets, instead of six pellets, we're going to be using nine pellets every six seconds after we use an ability. Uh, I mean, uh, every every time we use an ability for the next six seconds, sometimes we're running from the enemy, right? And we use an ability and then we, we, we land the next shot and then it comes back to back and then you use nine, nine pellets followed by six pellets. That is a shit ton of damage that we do there. And sometimes also when we do with, with the shrapnel shots and we follow it up, by by you know by a basic attack then net shot basic attack excuse me and just like that back to back you shoot 18 bbs right 18 pellets that that is considered three basic attacks but now we're just doing it in two and, and, and it, it makes your burst and your you know your quick burst so much more efficient uh we're done with this side of the bill over here now we're gonna jump to the other side and this one it gets really fun because we want to make our way down to blast shot even though blast shot is all the way down here it is very very crucial and, and and almost mandatory for our whole build up rotation right there's no time where splitting grenade will come in good in handy there's no time when mortar shot will come in handy and and we already talked uh previously in other streams that claw shot is not that very effective as a mage because you want to keep on your distance you don't really want to be close to the enemy plus uh, more often than not you will miss this ability right Unless you use it with blast shot, and which a lot of sword and shields use it that way, they use the blast shot followed by the claw shot followed by the edge of shrapnel. But since we're ranged and we want to keep our distance, we're not gonna be uh, getting the claw shot, and we're going to be getting the net shot. All right. So 
the first thing that we're going to talk about here is using ability will reduce all your other abilities cooldown by four uh, percent of, of the of the remaining time right so like i said you can go with either or it doesn't matter i like this one over here oops excuse me i like this one over here because every time that like like i use an ability as you can see the cooldown it goes down and and any helps you know it helps B before you know it you use uh, you know abilities here and there and your cooldowns are going down and, and you don't even notice and this one it will be more if you're getting hit right if you're getting hit this one if you're using the abilities and you're not getting hit you will get more benefit out of this one because this means that your abilities will be back a lot quicker <clears throat> right so this one again if you're getting hit go with this bad boys if you deal if you're doing more of the hitting then go with these two over here uh next every pellet that is a headshot reduce the cooldown by 0.5 percent now that we have a choice here we have to get this mandatory because we're not getting mortal mortal charge right plus it helps give those cooldowns a little bit a little bit quicker back then we're going to get buckshot deal 10 percent increased damage to any target that is as long uh, as long as you have not damaged in the in the next eight seconds again not something that it's it's amazing but it's something that we had to pick to make our way down to blast shot now on blast shot blast an immense wind out of the blunder boss knocking down any target immediately in front of you blast shot deals 70 percent weapon damage on a 25 second cooldown it's a very long cooldown but thanks to this one right here and thanks to, to this one right here yeah that's it you know you you get this ability uh, a, a little a little back uh, back a little quicker next we going well, by the way yeah we, we're gonna get everything we're gonna get everything next uh, blast shot applies a rend that increases damage applied to the target by 10%. So it's a 10% rend. The same, the same thing that we get with the rain, you know, from the ice gauntlet. So you guys can see how much of, uh, how 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 I see this weapon in comparison to the ice gauntlet, and why is it that I'm mixing it up with the fire staff, and they both synergize <clears throat> very well. And then uh, lingering flow. The area, uh, the area 10 meters in front of you will remain influenced by the wind for the next eight seconds. You and your allies move 25% faster. Uh, was really you know, a bonus speed in this area. It's nice, right? It is very nice having that extra little movement speed boom as soon as you use the ability. It helps you get close to the enemy if you're trying to escape. It also helps you, your your allies and you to 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 get away from from a situation. So I, it's it's not something super amazing, but it's something that if you want to have fun with it. Go ahead and pick it and and you will see that you will be benefiting from it more often than not uh here we're gonna get holding onto two loaded ammunitions for two seconds after a reload would we'll load a third active ammunition and that's what and that's why you guys see three bullets on my magazine almost all of the time right so if you use all of your bullets and then you reload and you hold for two seconds a third bullet come back out if you don't reload and you switch weapons right and you let the game do the reload for you you will not get the third bullet now if you reload and while you're reloading you're using abilities you will get your third bullet because it specifically says that as long as you don't use basic attacks as long as you hold your you know your two bullets you will get your third bullet back right so have that in mind you guys sometimes if you're reloading and your enemy's right in front of you you just want to hold it for a little bit longer and then you want to switch back to your fire staff and here is the amazing thing after you have that third bullet in the magazine you can have your fire staff for as long as you want when you switch back to your bb gun you're gonna have that third bullet there ready for you it will never go away all right and then the last one that we're going to get here is that whenever you take a hit and, and your health is below 50 percent you gain a 50 percent damage uh, reduction for four seconds on a 30 second cooldown this one is very very awesome you guys Although, have in mind that, please, you have to have your BB out. This is not something that is going to proc if you have your flamethrower out. It's like, where is the damage reduction? Yes, if you are below 50%, just go ahead and switch to your BB. If you're getting hit, you will see how your entire body becomes golden. It's pretty awesome. Uh, your character becomes, like I said, super golden and shiny, and you're running around for four seconds, reducing, uh, taking less than 50% than, than, than uh, damage, right? And that does it that does it for for all of the abilities in in the in the blunderbuss build so how would this build work right how would the rotation work well it's very very simple let's let's assume the fight you started and like i always say you want to have your fireball up a cooldown so as soon as the fight starts, land basic attack send your fireball if you're going to see that you're going to land it and wait for the enemy to see what's going to happen right 
if we have a flamethrower and we know you know we, we we know who we fighting most of the time right this is a by the way guys this is a very very 1v1 focus build all right this is not something that you can take to the wars and 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 just kill everybody this is not something that you can take to an opr jump into a group of people and just build uh, burst everybody to the ground no this is more like i said a 1v1 kind of like a, a skirmisher kind of build right it's 1v1 1v2 works uh sometime even 1v3 so in the meantime your main damage dealer it will be your your flamethrower right and and whenever you find an opening where you can land the shot is when you switch to your bb and boom unleash the real super quick burst all right now that is with the shrapnel shot right how about the blast shot well the blast shot it's even better because if we're burning burning and then we find an opening where the enemy just made a mistake and we know that we can hit him with a blast shot we hit him with a blast shot we move forward we hit him with a basic attack and we hit him with a with a with a shrapnel right we use the blast shot move forward basic attack shrapnel shot and we applying the 10 percent ren we hit him then with a basic attack and then we hit him with a shrapnel blast and you can follow that with another basic attack and you can follow that with a net shot basic attack if you have the third bullet and it will be something it will be something like like this right so you have the third bullet you have the enemy on fire right you're burning burning the enemy made a mistake you hit him with this right you you can do that as well something like that right that was a shot after the blast shot because we still gonna get right we're still gonna get this one over here so you can do it you have different ways the enemy stays on the ground for long enough for you to either hit him with a basic attack first and then dash forward hit him with a shrapnel blast or you can hit him with a shrapnel blast um i mean dash forward basic attack shrapnel blast the net shot basic attack it works either way right like that that works as well you know they, they both work very good and with that little burst that lasted about two seconds you will completely destroy the enemy right and that is exactly what the fire staff needed because the fire staff had the fireball over here with a flamethrower right and then in the meantime you guys know that the flamethrower has the the, the the most consistent damage in the game right hands down uh uh, uh, uh nothing nothing kids go off obviously a great axe if they're just swinging there for days but you know that great axe has a, a a close range they cannot swing and hit every attack but the flamethrower you know it has it has a juicy uh eight meter range or seven meter range um six meter range sometimes i i i i swear sometimes i hit an enemy like 10 meter range uh it's a desync and, and all the type of issues right so and and we we doing the we doing the flamethrower we're doing the fireball and then the enemy makes a mistake we hit him with a blast shot basic attack and then that is the rotation right there you guys that is the rotation of this build you will use your flamethrower and your fire uh, your fireball as a filler and whenever you find an opening right whenever you find an opening where you know you're going to benefit greatly from switching to the bb gun sending the shrapnel blast right using the net shot getting back into a, a into a safe distance or whenever the enemy uses charge towards you like a warrior and then you use the blast shot you dodge forward you hit them with a shrapnel blast and you disintegrate their entire health okay <clears throat> So that's how this build works. You will do consistent damage with your flamethrower, fill it in with a fireball, and whenever you see an opening, switch into your BB gun and, and unleash hell on them, baby. Unleash hell on them. If you see that the enemy is too close to you and you want to get a little distance, boom, go ahead and use the net shot, switch to your fire staff and, 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 and skadoodles, right? Just get the hell out of there. Something like this, you know, just, just get the hell out of there right and, and you will get a distance enough for the animation of your burnout to to be able to get out you can you can either use it and 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 switch back to your to your fire staff and, and use abilities like such you see and you're already at a pretty good distance where you can go back and do your fireballs and your basic attack so there you go ladies and gentlemen so there you have it that is the basic rotation of this build as for the gems I still recommend that you guys either use the Aquamarine Tier 2 or the Tier 5 Opal. Those are my two gems that I recommend for this weapon. Both of them will work very good and, and will synergize very well with them. It depends on your playstyle or with the people that you play with, right? If you play with a lot of people... By the way, you guys, please do not judge my, uh, my Blunderbuss. 
it's a terrible blunder boss i haven't been able to get my hands in in, in an amazing beast blunder boss but all of the all of the clips that you guys will see in this video is me using this blunder boss right here and you guys that you guys will see that by using a blunder boss that is not even remotely close to being bis you can still perform and do amazing work out there just because the gun it's in an amazing spot right now and if we mix it up with the flamethrower it synergizes so beautifully you guys so beautifully so yes like i was saying if you use if you use uh, all the people that have uh, uh, uh ice gauntlet then you will benefit from the aquamarine tier two if you're one of those people that play solo go ahead and slap a pristine opal you know on in, in that blunderbuss because like i said before you you know you're going to be using the flash shot dodging forward and then putting a, a dodge or two in there therefore you're not going to have your full stamina whenever you do your full burst all right so having opal or the aquamarine they both work very well with the blunderbuss okay the next thing that we're going to talk about is going to be the armor perks and as i stated before in the previous video as long as you're using the flamethrower i will recommend that you still use accelerating flamethrower and you still use empowering fireball given that these two will uh, benefit greatly from you know from this build and you will constantly be using these two uh since we got those two out of the way let's now talk about the the blunderbuss armor perk and the first perk that i want to talk about is exhaustive net shot Net shot inflates and exhaust that reduce the target stamina regeneration by 33% for 8 seconds. This is very, very, very good, especially in PvP. Uh, well, that is the focus of the video, right? So, uh, whenever you hit an enemy with your net shot, their stamina regen will be reduced by 33% for 8 seconds. And this is very, very good. Whenever they're running towards you and they start rolling, rolling, and you hit them with a net shot, and all of a sudden their stamina is so hindered and they don't even know what's going on they're like why is my stamina so slow and it's just because of that an a second it's a very long time you guys eight seconds on a fight if the enemy dodges once every two seconds uh they will be extremely extremely uh handicapped you know during the next eight seconds and as we saw the ability has a cooldown of 12 seconds so we can have this this uptime for a very very long time if we want to uh, keep it on the enemy at all given times but we usually use it for whenever it comes to a situation where whenever um, we we really need the the enemy to not go anywhere so we use the net and then their their the energy regen their stamina regen is reduced or whenever they are about to use a cc on us and whenever they're running towards us so having this perk it really helps your this build and the play style overall 100 percent the next one we're going to talk about is Leashing Shrapnel Blast. This perk is not mandatory, but it gives you a little bit of sur uh, survivability, especially if you are about to, to you know, to trade with the enemy and, and, and you will end up winning because that Leashing Shrapnel Blast will heal you for a little bit. And that way you don't even have to have Leashing on your weapon, although they will stack and it will give you a little bit more health. And the last perk that we're going to talk about is going to be Crippling Blast Shot. Crippling Blast Shot... Um, slows the enemy that are hit by it by 19 percent for five seconds it's not that mandatory to, again but it's something that will help you whenever you hit the enemy and they're now on the ground they get up and they move 20 percent slower therefore making you be able to hit them a lot easier uh, with your basic attacks or whatever you might uh, want to do with them it, it only lasts five seconds but it's something that you can have extra now out of all of these three perks that i mentioned for the blunder boss the only one that I will say that is mandatory is the exhaustive net shot. The other two, it's something that you can have if you if you get lucky and you get some amazing rolls like crippling blast shot, um, uh, resilient or shuriken fortification, and um, refreshing or freedom. You know you know the combinations of PvP that I'm talking about. And if you're able to get a, one of these or the other, uh, it, it's it's a good addition to to the arsenal. But it's not something that is mandatory. The only one that I would say is mandatory is exhaustive net shot. An honorable mention, it will be empowering breaker. When you attacks are blocked, gain a stack of empower, increasing damage by 3.8% for five seconds, and it stacks up to five times. This doesn't have this doesn't have a cooldown, and 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 and, and as long as your attacks are being blocked, you're going to refresh this. And since I told you guys before 
that since the BBs, every single one of the pellets is considered a separate attack of its own, if somebody is blocking with a shield and you shoot the shield with just one singular shot and you hit five BBs or more, boom, you immediately get the 19% increased damage. Just by literally shooting once at a shield with your BB gun, you will immediately get the five stacks, which is 19% increased damage. That is very, very good, at least to have one of these pieces of armor with you whenever you're fighting a tank and whenever they're constantly blocking you put this one on before the duel or whatever and if they love to block you shoot them once and you immediately get 19 percent increased damage for the fire staff the one that i recommend it will be keen vicious and keen speed the reason we're choosing keen speed here over something else is because whenever we're using the flamethrower right and we are burning the enemy the enemy is either running away from us or we are running away from the enemy right and, and, and sometimes I'm burning the enemy and I'm just backpedaling and whenever I get the king speed and you get that extra 30% uh, extra movement speed you, you feel like you, you take space from the enemy right and they cannot catch up to you as quick when they're either left clicking or they're just running towards you and when they're running away the moment that you have the flamethrower and you hit them with a the, with the critical and you get the 30% movement speed and then you get the, the accelerating flamethrower and you get the other movement speed you can almost stay on the enemy for well for three seconds burning them until you get the keen speed again and you can catch up to them outside of keen speed i previously said that fire attunement was the one that i was recommending but disregard that okay fire uh, the flame attunement is not good for the flamethrower as i have tested it previously so the one that i now recommend once again it will be keen vicious with keen speed followed by keen vicious and keenly empowered and then we have the fire vine with keen vicious and refreshing and and yeah that's it you can play this build with all of the three armor types heavy medium and light and as for the attributes i still recommend 300 intelligence 200 constitution since we are going to be more often than not someone close to the enemy and we are we are going to get every once in a while we are going to get damage and if we are trading with a great axe or anything that is physical damage we want to have that extra 200 constitution for that extra armor it's the one that i still recommend for most of the occasion which is wars and opr is going to be the flamethrower with the ice gauntlet but as you guys can see the flamethrower blunderbuss can be an amazing combination especially beating uh, the melee guys uh, as for whenever you are fighting somebody that is ranged it struggles a little bit because it's a very aggressive build and before we end it i want to say that this build has one weakness and that one weakness it will be other mages with ice spikes right anything that it can just completely burst you down from 100 to zero without you almost without blinking because we have a lot of armors unless you have a lot of magical resistance including ice resistance then maybe that might not be an issue for you but in the current meta since ice spike is not very used it is not used very often sometimes it hits you by surprise and believe me because we are constantly playing very aggressive any mage that is playing very defensive with an ice gauntlet would be our nightmare because as we're getting close to hit him with a blast shot or to hit him with a shrapnel blast or to even hit him with a flamethrower we tend to play very aggressive and we get hit by the rain or we get hit by the unexpected ice spike. That does it for me, you guys. Like I said, if you enjoy the video, go ahead and give it a like, share, whatever, whatever you guys do these days. Leave a comment down below. You guys know that I respond and I read to every single one of you guys' comment. And if there's something that I don't know, I go and I do the testing and then I come back to the video and I give you a, a good response, right? I don't want to give anybody false information or anything that is that is that is not true and and that's why it takes me uh you know sometimes a little bit longer to make these videos because i i try to test as much as i can but i'm just one guy i i i, I get no help from any other side it's just me trying to make these builds understanding myself and then seeing if they actually work and putting it out there for you guys um i stream on on twitch every single night at 9 p.m and i just made it full time by the way if if you guys didn't know that i'm i'm here to tell you that i officially made streaming my full-time job 
uh, therefore I'm streaming for minimum of six hours a day uh, starting at 9 p.m. almost every single night on Twitch uh, my link is down below and uh, that's it I hope you guys enjoy the video and you guys go out there and burn people and hit them with a blunderbuss in the face and burst the health down guys until the next one and I hope you all have a wonderful time cheers and flame on